So, so I, I would say that you're, uh, you're starting at the end. What is it that I want my students to know? And you're making choices about how you're going to teach it. And as you do that, you're making choices about how you're going to know that they've caught it. Right. That they've got well, it well enough to move on. Right. Well, what you want them to know and what, them, what you want them to be able to do. Yep. Right. Yep. So in, in the sciences, which, man, science is getting a lot of positive uh, play in this conversation. One which, of us has a minor in science. And it ain't so, me. Yeah. <laughs> I don't mind fighting for the old gal. Every no, no, time. it's good. I like it. I'm. I just. I don't find myself. I don't know. I'm like. A, I should have read Pose to Science, mm. um, which is an amazing uh, invective against science. I absolutely love it. Uh, I just don't well, find myself sticking up for science that often. But I don't but stick I love up for it. modern science education very much these days because okay. I feel that it is far too. Um, memory oriented. Mm. Now I know there's the whole group that's going, but we teach with hands-on science and whatnot. Right. Well, that's where I was going. I was going to labs. Yeah. Right. I was because exactly. what you know, what you can know. Okay, memory, and what you can do. Right. The lab. Yep. Um, and then there's also the sort of what can you do in conversation. Uh, additionally, right. That right. that would be outside of either. No, of those. no. But you're. I mean, so we're more. Back to, I think, an important aspect in, in, in my formation as an educator, and that's Mortimer Adler's three columns mm. that oh, says that dear. there is yeah, go ahead. knowledge, and there is skills, right. and there is this notion of understanding, and that each right. has their appropriate vehicle right. that knowledge is best gained through lecture mm -hmm. of one sort or another. It might be the lecture of the text. It might be the lecture of the teacher. It might be a lecture of group interaction or whatnot, but it's basically transference of knowledge. And interestingly enough, he, he said, regardless of the subject, that should be 20-25% of the class time. Nice. Nice. Now there's this whole, what's the other? <laughs> right. And, okay. he, and he puts a big emphasis on the fact that teaching to do takes more time than teaching to know. Mm -hmm. And so a good deal, the, the, the proper mode of teaching to do is coaching. Okay, yeah. so I'm writing... I feel so good about all this editing work that I'm doing with all my students. Like, just editing their papers, like, on the on the uh, projector. Yeah. Because because you are... Uh, yeah, well, you're so you're corroborating what I'm doing, yeah. Or, uh, you know, we had a third grade teacher at one point mm -hmm. who, who, when the projectors first arrived in the classrooms, I could just see her face. She just looked at that and went, oh, yeah. And, and would sit there... And the kids would would be composing with her as the fingers. Okay. And it would go up there, and there there would be this discussion and this revision and this uh, mm -hmm. and a, and an essay in its glory would be made by the class. Okay. And then that took so that's formative assessment. Right, right, right. Can you do what I'm trying to teach you to do? No, not like that. Like this. Mm -hmm. We're not talking about grades at this point. We're talking about. Yeah, just do the thing. Let's, let's screw it up. Right, sure. So that we can see how it screws up. And then and then let's do it the right way. But at some point, then, yes, the projector went off and the paper came out. And now you write. Mm -hmm. You know. But you've already done it. Yeah. It's not this, <gasps> what? Right. You know, go home and write me a paper on dogs. <laughs> and I've, <laughs> I've had a son come home. And I've... Drilled him a little bit on well, what parameters. He just told us we needed a paper by Monday on dogs. <laughs> right. Did he tell you where to look? No. Right. Did he give you any notion of how long, what should be? No. Just write a paper on dogs. That's all he said. Right. That's cruelty. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The child isn't that. And this is a, a, a fourth grader. Wow. They have no concept of where to go with that. Right. And it's far too early to do that to a fourth grader. Mm -hmm. um, but, but with assessment, this is, this is the... This is as much a judgment of the teacher mm -hmm. as it is the student. Mm -hmm. And I think that's why there's all the death yeah. language. Right. Is that it, it, so who of us hasn't taught and been grading going, No! No! You're right. You idiots! You're right. I know I taught you this! <laughs> you know? and, and really what we're saying is not invective towards the students. No. We're working out the emotions of... 
I bombed. Yeah. yeah. This is this is an assessment of me. Yep. Now it's when when the vast majority are doing well and you got little belly over here <laughs> yeah. screwing up. Right. Now the the disappointment, let's not use invective. Sure. The disappointment is with Billy. Mm-hmm. But when the vast majority are all getting it wrong, you know that that indicates they weren't ready mm-hmm. for a summative assessment. Right. You're still needing to form in them the ability right. to do and to know. To do and to know. I, I, I think that that distinction between art and science, right, of, 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 of the content of the course and the ability to handle that content, to, to, to write well, read well, think well, in the science laboratory, experiment, measure, observe, etc. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's all of these abilities that we're developing.